question 20. Graph the system of inequalities below. So let's get started by actually sketching the equation y equals 4x plus 1. Then later, we can worry about the inequality. So y equals mx plus b, b is the y-intercept, m is the slope. So the y-intercept of this linear equation would be 1. It's a 1 right there. And the slope is 4. So the rise over the run is 4. Meaning we go over 1, up 4. Over 1, up 4. And in the same direction as well, of course. Over here. I want it to be precise, so that's why it's taking me a while. And there we have it. Okay, now what about the equation of y equals 5? Whenever we have y equals a constant, you don't see an x here, that is just going to be a line that is parallel to the x-axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to look like this. This could be straighter, I guess. I guess hopefully everyone gets the idea. <laughs> so that's y equals 5. Okay, now, now we can consider the inequalities. We have y is greater than or equal to 5. So we're interested in the area above the blue line. So let me just highlight that here. Okay. But now for the red line, we're interested in the area below. Why is that? Because we have y is smaller than or equal to 4x plus 1. If we had y is greater than or equal to, then we, all, we would also shade the area above the line. And what is above or below in this case? Well, the area below the red line will be just this one. Hope that makes sense to everyone. And now, of course, the solution to the system of equations will be the intersection of the shaded areas. So it would be this area right here. Any point that we pick in this shaded region, if we were to plug the coordinates in for y and x, or x and y, we would, we would obtain the truth for both inequalities. So that is why this area here is the solution to the system of inequalities. That's it.